you know it's Friday? It is Friday. It's Friday. It's been a week. Well, they look better in person than I do in just pictures. They're really nice. Um, that's the last set that we have. They've sold really good, so. Okay. Can't beat that. That's something new too, ain't it? That is. Um, those are a new style of the can holders. Mm -hmm. um, people are really liking those, which on these, they do have magnets. You can put a screw or a bolt, however. I mean, it's got the head where a bolt can go yeah. in, but you can put a screw in there too. Uh, you got two of the magnets to hold it there and a little lip too. So, you know, you're gonna hold it real secure and snug. Cool. Got, we got plenty of lighted beanies. Well, some of them's got lights and some of them don't. So the black does not have the light. Well, I don't. I think they call this uh, navy. Yeah, navy. Like the orange and the purple. Mm -hmm. And we had green. Uh, they have lights and the Bluetooth in them. The maroon and the navy just have the Bluetooth. So right. you really get to pick it the way you want it. Um, the first year we come out, it was either or, uh, and that worked really well. And then the next year, it was only, the only way that you could get it was with the light in it. Um, that went okay, but a lot of people was like, I don't, I don't really want the light. Mm -hmm. So um, we had asked that they did go back to like the year before where right. it was either or, and they went to this to where, you know, you can have, cause nobody really wanted just the light. So they went to where it had the light and the Bluetooth or just the Bluetooth. So we, we ordered plenty of those. It ain't got super cold yet. Uh, in Mississippi, I mean, it, it's been cool on some mornings, but by dinner time, you're already trying to figure out why you even had a jacket in the car. Yeah, so uh, we have sold plenty of them, but when the temperature starts dropping down, they'll go really quick. Well, talking about things being temperature related, I noticed this hot deal <laughs> back here. Yeah. You boys pay attention right here. 35 bucks a week, and you get the rat paint cart. And look at all the goodies in it. So the impacts um, that's up here can actually go along with it. The way it sits right now, it would actually be less than $35 a week. Um, but if you put the impacts in there, you're gonna be around $35 a week. So uh, we've that's always said- Digital torque wrench hiding in here too. We do, we do. Um, we always said, we'll start the bundle. Uh, and you can either take it or change it up any way that you want it. Uh, we just try to put it in there to, to get your mind working and seeing what you might want or what might need. Uh, Man, that's a good, that's a good setup. You got some good stuff in here. So I can't take credit for this one. Uh -oh. um, I was actually sick one day. Um, I got sick during the day. So when we got home, she told me just go kick back on the couch. Uh, and I went and passed out. And when I woke up, it was on here and it was made. So there I'm not go. gonna take credit for that. Leslie did all of that. So. Um, Hey, props to her. She Look picked that. out a good bit. Man, so. if that right there don't sell, buddy, something's wrong, ain't it? That's a smoking deal right there. Man, that's a that's nice. The the thing that I like about those carts is they're they're gonna get in between everywhere. You're gonna pull them to you. That's a good size cart. You know, mm -hmm. I like the big toolboxes. I love the big toolboxes. Um, but you can contest with your big box. Oh yeah. If you're on the other side of the shop, man. Uh, anybody that's been uh, to your shop knows your racks on the other side. Mm -hmm. You're not you're not moving that toolbox no. over by the rack. Um, now, if it wasn't for a roll cart, you'd be in trouble. That's just it. Or you'd be really skinny one. Well, <laughs> um, a lot of people think that it's either or, and and that's what I try to tell people: um, don't make it either or, mm -hmm. uh, because what you do is you you end up. A lot of people want to sell their cart, get their box, and then it's like, okay. And when I was a tech, the, the, the way the Toyota things were set up, you were right in front of your box. And yeah. that's fine, because I could, I could literally turn around, grab it, mm -hmm. that was fine in that shop. But a lot of your shops now, you're moving. You, yep. You've got this car waiting on parts, you've got this, and you're moving. It's, uh, you get a big box, you're not doing that. And I mean, any Matco dealer can do that, right? Not just you. What like, the, the the bundle? Yeah, yeah they. I mean, it's of course they run their business. They're gonna mm -hmm. do it the way they want to. But yeah, anybody can do that bundle. Because um, I know everybody says, "Boy, I wish my Matco dealer would do that." Every him, time we show one, I'm like, well, "Just talk to the dealer, man. Just, say, tell I, him, say, hey, make me make me this deal." You want to see a Matco tool dealer's eyes light up like it's Christmas? 
and he's a kid, uh, say, hey, I, I want a cart, but I want to do a bundle. Do you think you can do it? And, and I guarantee you within seconds, he's got yeah. you a cart that you love pulled up and, and picking out what you want in your bundle. You um, no, no dealer that I know of, uh, which I don't know all the dealers, I'm not going to try to say I do, but almost every dealer or all the dealers I know want to sell stuff. Mm -hmm. So uh, if that's the deal, you know, if, hey, I'll only buy this card if it's a bundle, he'll make you a bundle. Yeah. He or she, do, we do have female distributors, so, um, well, I mean, there is female distributors, so ask them and, and they'll make the deal. But mostly, you know, what we tell people is, because a lot of times somebody will go back there and they'll still at that deal and then they'll be like, well, you know, I, if it just didn't have this and this in there, but it had this, that's what I'd want. Well, take okay. it out. Pull it out. Well, Sorry. what are we doing? Take it out. You know, that's not a problem. I mean, and you'll do it on that cart even, right? Like, I'll do it. I'll matter. do it on. I'll do it on any cart, uh, any toolbox. Like we'll we'll do it on anything that you want to do it on. Um, uh, just tell me, and yeah. we'll do it. The only reason that you do not see these on a bundle deal on this truck is because it doesn't fit back here. Um, if you was to take this and turn it, it won't completely turn. Right. So we can't open it up and put it, but I guarantee you uh, within seconds, if you said I wanted these, 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 they would be in a bundle and we'd be unloading it. So it's not a big deal. Um, well, there you go. Bundle deals are quick to make and they help the text out. It makes it easier. We like that, so. Well, did my flashlight come in? It did. Let's show everybody the flashlight. I was gonna show it on Tim's truck. We, we sold it before. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, so, you know, we always do um, the breast cancer awareness, uh, a portion of the proceeds of the sales go to, the, to, to that, and, and Mackle... It's 15%, isn't 15%. It? Um, Mackle really takes pride in that, so, and the stuff always sells out. We don't, mm. you won't keep this, if I had put this flashlight out, it wouldn't have been here. So yeah. it's, we have showed nobody the flashlight, and the reason we haven't is that's the only one I could get right now. Now, if they do, if we are able to get more of them, they're, they're going to sell. And the yeah. thing about it is, um, it sells and it's good for a good cause. So it is your pink flashlight. It does have the ribbon up here. Um, but not only that, you know, I know you've had people affected mm -hmm. by it. Almost everybody in their family has had it, uh, been affected by it in some way. You may not know them, right. but families are big. I guarantee you somebody that you know has been affected by it. So they do do that. Um, and I love streamlines. These, this is my favorite light. When I first got a streamline, I got the bigger one, mm -hmm. and those were great. And then they come out with these, and she bought me one of those too. And I really like these. Yeah, that's so, a good size. It fits in your pocket well. Now it will get hot. Mm -hmm. You don't want that thing to be on in your pocket because you're going to know the it. the lumens on this on that one? I know that's not uh, the H, the high powered one. Or Three seventy five on this one. Yeah. Um, but it's a it's a more controlled 375. Mm -hmm. So the thing with lumens and flashlights, um, you can get a flashlight that's a thousand lumens. But if it's not a controlled, and, and what I mean by that, if it's just wide band, um, it's going to be harder to tell that it's a thousand lumens. Yeah, it's going to light up at that area. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not saying that, uh, but like this, when it's concentrated to that one point, you, you can really tell that it's the uh, the lumens there that that help you out and stuff right. like that, which we've always talked about it. Why would anybody want less lumens, right? So mm -hmm. that's nice, um, which we talked about the can holders. Mm -hmm. um, everybody probably knows this by now, but we'll go ahead and mention it. Um, there is Milwaukee on the truck. I'm not gonna get in trouble for Milwaukee being on the truck. We did partner with Milwaukee. It's about time. Uh, I can tell you, not, not everybody, um, but almost all Maco distributors uh, rejoiced when that was announced. That was mm -hmm. something uh, that we was all super excited about. Um, our impacts are here to stay. Um, they they told us that. Um, I'm happy about that. I won't. I'd rather have options. So, mm -hmm. um, but the good thing is we have options because the thing about impacts, and you know as well as I do, um, when I first come in here almost five years ago now, you had a ton of snap-on impacts, a ton, which means yeah. you had a ton of snap-on batteries. Mm -hmm. It's hard to for, convert. 
I yeah, it's here. hard for me to say, hey, Clay, buy this, mm -hmm. and, oh, yeah, by the way, you got to buy a new you charger. Got, you you got to buy a new charger. charger you got to have new batteries. batteries. Yeah. Um, so that just helps us in that, too, because mm -hmm. there's a lot of people that's already got Milwaukee. Um, so now we've got something that fits their battery line, too, but we've also got ours. Um, I'm not pushing one uh, greater than the other. So there is that aspect of it. Well, I know we talked off camera before I started the video about Disney World because we just got back. Disney World, yep. And I can guarantee you there's nothing on earth more determined than a dad with a twin stroller trying to go through Disney World. <laughs> he will run over six-year-old kids like it ain't nothing. Like, well, from what I've I, never in my life. From what I hear, that's just going to be changed. I've never in my life. And, you know, it's great that they have the rides there for the disabled people and all this, right? But if you're walking in Disney World, you are definitely the minority <laughs> because there's more scooters and strollers than there are tennis shoes in that place. I it read is somewhere. crazy. And I, I've read this, and it could be 100% false. I don't know. I've never been to Disney World, never talked to anybody, and I'm not, you know, that's, that's just the way it is. Um, I did read the other day where they're fixing to ban strollers and scooters and stuff like that. Now, of course, if you're right. if you're disabled and you need that, then you're going to have it. They're not taking that away. Um, but but the main like reason was <laughs> the strollers. They said that people are constantly, oh, and they said terrible, the fights man. and stuff that happen because somebody runs over somebody, yeah. knocks somebody down, uh, and an innocent. Um, like they're just ramming into you and then be like, oh, sorry. Like, look, jackass. <laughs> I'm standing in line. I can't go no further than the person in front of you. So he, they'll come in there and ram into you, and then when you move over, they just take your spot. See, that's it's ridiculous to me. And it, we're, I'm kind of getting off the tool subject here, but to me, the most overused word is sorry. And the reason yeah. that I think that is because that, and, and my, my kids are the world's worst. They know that if they're fisting and get in trouble, they're gonna scream sorry, mm -hmm. and then that's supposed to fix it. Yeah. That doesn't fix anything, you know. That that doesn't that doesn't make my ankle feel better that you just <laughs> run over it with a stroller, and it really doesn't make me feel any better if we've been standing there for thirty minutes and you run over my ankle. Like you've seen me here, mm -hmm. um, but and that's uh, you hear it or see it. And uh, well, they need to put a limit number on the tickets that they sell per day. They are they are to do it just to make the experience more enjoyable mm -hmm. because it because you stand in line so long, you waste your whole day standing in line to ride a three minute ride. Yeah, like an hour and a half to ride a three minute ride is ridiculous. It so, really is. So you know, um, going uh, on that topic, restaurants like Texas Roadhouse and mm -hmm. stuff like that. You you get especially right now when when there's a worker worker shortage as bad as there is you almost get the same feeling as hey why don't you just tell me that there's a 45 minute wait rather than going straight up to and and butting the fire capacity you know whether it be mm -hmm. 375 people if you can't serve 375 people don't sit me in this booth yeah. and and damn sure don't take my order and not bring me a drink for 45 minutes mm -hmm. you know just say hey there's there's a 30 minute wait. Yeah, there's tables available, but we wouldn't be able to get to you. Mm -hmm. um, I would hate to know, like I said, I haven't been there, but I'd hate to know that I went to Disney World. I spent all that money. I've, I've, my time's limited, right? Because the park closes. Yeah. Um, there's only so many days that I can be there. So I paid for five days and I got to ride, you know, 20 rides. Well, I'm hoping to ride 300 in, mm -hmm. in five days, which I know, you know, that's a yeah. stretch, but still, if you would say, hey, no, sorry, we've, we've only got this many tickets for today, yeah. then let me buy them when I can get there. Okay, yeah, well, yeah. look, they're open this week. Can we make this week work? Mm -hmm. Sure can, and you're guaranteed to be on a ride in 30 minutes? Boy, that would be great, wouldn't it? Yeah, I think that's what they should do is figure out how many people that park can hold with about a 30 minutes is plenty to wait. You know? yeah. And say, so, okay, we can have 20,000 people in Disney World you know with all the parks that's all the tickets we're going to sell today yeah like no more i don't care if you're donald trump sorry hoss you ain't getting in you can go spray tan today come back tomorrow <laughs> you know and that's the way they should do it because it sucked well like, think about that was the like i enjoyed it because we got to watch her have a good time yeah but that was the only good part the rest of it sucked 
well think about how quick you would also get people in and out that way mm -hmm. because here's the thing if you go to disney world every, everything you hear at the end of the day you're just exhausted you're wore out yep. you're grumpy you're ill you're just plumb wore out the kids are ill they're grumpy they're wore out and the main reason is is because you've stood from opening to closing just to try to get some stuff done yep. well what if you went in and you waited 30 minutes for each ride when oh, you went to eat done in one day yeah, you're no. you're done, and guess what? Tomorrow, you've got uh, another twenty thousand yeah. people that can spend that money. Your reviews are going to go up. Yeah. Here we are trying to help Disney World. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'll take notes on Disney now. Yeah, your reviews are going to go up. It's the same way with anything. If if you stretch it out, yeah, they're spending their money on drinks and stuff like that. But you're just getting that ill, grumpy, and nobody's getting to do nothing. I've heard a lot of people say they went, they spent the money, they can't justify it again just because they didn't get to do a whole lot. That's exactly what and, I and, felt. And and the thing about it is, if you went and you spent that same amount of money for one day but you got to do everything exactly it'd be way better you would go back next year I, absolutely and and that's the thing and that that's well, just i can my... tell you it's better if you've got children you know six seven year yeah. old don't even mess with disney world don't even mess with the uh, uh you know the magic kingdom part go to the continental hotel resort Get a reservation at Chef Mickey's. They got all the characters. They come up to the table, you know, meet your kids and all that. That was more laughs and giggles than the whole park was. Well, it's hard for a kid to have fun when oh, you're yeah. standing in line. It looks like the line's never going to end. Mm -hmm. Their interest is going to come off of it. It sucked. Um, <laughs> There's one too. You know, that's, that's a part of that, you know, yeah. it, it is what it is. But And ridiculous prices. Like, I understand Disney's going to make money. Like, that's their whole existence down there. They can claim it's the most magical place on earth, but it's a money game, right? But when you charge $7.50 for a bottle of water, you have reserved a special place in hell for you. When it's 90 <laughs> degrees outside and you got children, like, that's ridiculous. Well, you know, you, you, you basically what you said, you, you spent all that money to get there, mm -hmm. you're already there, you're going to spend the money because you got to take drinks. So it's kind of controlling it to where you have no other option. Mm -hmm. um, not the best idea in the world, but uh, they're not there. They can say what they want to. They're not there just to make people smile and oh, laugh. No. Uh, it's got to be to make money. It's, and it's all about They're making it hand over fist for sure. So. Well, we're sure. All right, guys. So we've taught you about tools, taught you how to save money on a roll cart. And taught you how to fix these and these issues and save some money going to Disney World. <laughs> so, what else could you ask for in one video? <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thanks for hanging out with us. Hopefully, you learned a little something about Disney. If you want to go, don't. It's simple. <laughs> and uh, if you like the video, hit that thumbs up. Check over here for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes down here. If you're not subscribed, click that button. Y'all have a great weekend. See ya.